composition career started by getting rejected from the conservatory. Yeah. So, <laughs> so twice, I, way, twice, I a, believe, right? Uh, no, it was well. It was after after undergrad. Uh, I applied to the conservatory for for comp, and he you know, sent in the scores and oh, okay. and, and was rejected. Just sort of when doing it the traditional way, and then I started. You know, I, I read uh, some of Kogan's books and just cold called them, um, uh, and then. Started studying with uh, Potsy. Anyway, studied privately and then reapplied after a relationship with them and uh, got in for theory. Um, but so, but I think that's you know that, that's actually very important in terms of I, in a way I infiltrated the conservatory but wasn't really accepted there. Uh, and you know that's around said around the time we met I guess. Yeah, yeah, ninety six, ninety seven. Yeah. So we were both in similar places where even though we were in the institution we weren't there maybe what we originally thought we would be. Um, so, uh, um, well, I think the fact that we're doing theory, too, uh, is the ability to get, really get into history and really dig into what the music is. I mean, we're not afraid to, you know, look at a Monteverdi score. We're not afraid to look at a symphony. Uh, and, and just that ability... I don't think it creates any hierarchy, but just an ability to read literature, so to speak, I mean, just to be well read, to read as much as you can. You know? Yeah, the ability to do that with with music. I think just the music scene, like you said, is pretty stratified now with the laptop composers. And you know, you read The Wire, and and you know, there's a there's a pride in not being at a conservatory, and it's it's you know, very stratified and. and people wear that as a badge of honor that they don't know the literature in a sense or a literature yeah. or literatures or yeah they're self-taught just, yeah quote self-taught unquote. yeah, yeah. And, um, I mean, if anything else you know we the fact that we are the conservatory for theory yeah. not composition we're just analyzing and we're just yeah. in a sense we're just reading together mm-hmm. and your new CD coming out, Course of the Symptom, it seems like you're approaching, um, you're, 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 you're allowing the past, you know, to infiltrate your work in, mm-hmm. in, as sort of a meta, in a meta way. I think a lot of that comes from just an analysis. I mean, we, you know, I know we love analyzing performances and analyzing performers and, you yeah. know, what is yeah. someone doing, and, you know, I think, like I said, the use of Beethoven... Well, you know, with Beethoven, in a way, I mean, in a strange way, that's our performance interpretation. Yeah, you know, exactly. Um, you know, something I know, like, I was really interested in Beethoven's trills and later piano sonatas, mm-hmm. and, you know, we have that in the fourth movement. I took the section from what, the fifth piano concerto, where it's just this really mm-hmm. expanded sort of chromatic trill, and then, but then, you know, okay, so then you have this idea of the trill in late Beethoven. But then, you know, there's a practical idea of a copyright infringement. So I didn't want to use one performer that you knew, oh, he's using you know, the Schnabel performance or something. <laughs> right. Because then, you know... You'll get sued by you. You know.
with the course of the symptom, it seems like they're, they're the you know they're the two obvious elements that are coming into play. You have the one really really distorted, noisy um, kind of synthesizer like sound, mm -hmm. and you have this very old de you know debris like uh, mm -hmm. piano sort of atonal piano sounds, and, and maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah and you know, the whole piece started as a, a graduate composition piano piece, and that was basically rotating through different intervals and blah blah. It was basically, it, it was me trying to imitate Milton Babbitt without writing, without writing notes. Mm. I was viewing mm. everything with intervals, and you know, you choose a pitch, mm. any pitch in a certain register, and then you do a certain interval away from it. So it was, you know, it was successful in that it sounded like what I wanted it to sound like. But you know, in hindsight, I'm glad that I'm glad I don't still write like that. But glad you failed in your I'm attempt glad to I sound like that. Failed in my <laughs> attempts. Um, so that was the, in, in a way, the lar one of the large-scale generators for the piece. Um, and then I was trying to make a, a sort of computerized version of that after a couple of years, after I'd been in Japan a couple of years and mm. uh, failed in my attempts Tom to get Powell electronic the music. Tom Powell for the cash register. Tom Powell will now enter into the interview. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I was in Japan trying to get started with electronic music and saved up on <laughs> a computer and got a sound card donated from a friend that just didn't work at all. Mm. Um, so it was a very, 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 very frustrating time, uh, and actually it served as one of the impetuses, the impetus to come back uh, to America because you know, I, I sort of got the bug that I wanted to do some some music uh, and couldn't, and um, you know also I, removal from the conservatory, you know, living abroad and not being in the music scene gave me yeah, I think a lot of perspective outside of the conservatory. So. Mm. It was a good incubation period, but mm -hmm. um, incredible amounts of frustration. But then came back, was able to get a basic setup uh, going, and my initial idea was, okay, well, I got these piano variations. I'll make a electronic a synthesizer version of them. Probably still too influenced by Babbitt at the time. Like, well, I'll do make it sound like his electronic work. So I'll take my my attempt at his piano writing and turn it into his attempt at his electronic writing. And uh, thank God it, it sounded. I had the ear to know it sounded like a, a carnival from, I don't know, <laughs> gone incredibly backwards or something. So that wasn't happening, and uh, I think I, I ended up choosing just one synthesizer sound, a software synthesizer that yeah, sounded yeah. okay, and then I just distorted the, the, the hell out of it. And I really, really, I was surprised that, you know, a synth could sound that dirty. Mm. Uh, you know, it didn't sound like a synth anymore, and um, uh, from that, especially the different pitches, if it was a low register pitch, it got really nice guttural distortion. The higher register ones, um, uh, I don't know, the timbre seemed to really change a lot through the different registers, and I used EQ to just sort of bring out those differences even more. synth and EQ uh, and with that available palette I then um, you know I had this fairly it's a good performance but a bad recording of the original piano pieces that I knew I think the you know the idea of course of the symptom that you have this kind of how the, literally how the course of an infection or something comes on you know spreads and then goes away I sort of wanted I think one of the large-scale ideas was that you know, the piano piece would gradually get infected by uh, you know, the electronics and sort of do this mm. sort of pivot, okay. Okay. Um, which in hindsight didn't really ha it happened in one movement specifically, but um, it happened somewhat backwards maybe because it starts I start off with the electronic glass and then right. work slowly into the piano, uh -huh. but you know, that was one governing idea um, that I got. Interesting. Uh, 
and I was looking through there's some you know medical handbook I got in Tokyo in one of my dark periods where I got all the titles from it um, uh, and it was this idea of infection and, and uh, huh. corrosion um, so that seemed to go well with the sort of literal destruction of the audio quality through distortion EQing right. inserting silences the bad recordings of the piano you know I, I didn't have the means to get really maybe the ideal quality I wanted so I had to work with these these infections uh, and in a way just amplify them and um, uh, so you know there was especially with the the bad recording of the piano I you know it, it turns into its own kind of sign yeah. which which you know just like a you know really old piano recording or, you know, right. it, it, in a way, that sort of amplifies the, the sign of the conservatory in a mm. way, you know, it, it makes it sound old, it makes the piano sound old, so, mm. Mm. you know, and it wasn't just making fun of the piano, because the whole, even the distorted parts, even the synth parts are generated from the piano work, so it's not as simple as just, oh, I'll throw in some bad recordings of the piano, Right. Uh, right. It, it, because that structure is still very present throughout the whole thing. Mm. Um, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't control it totally. Uh, while it might, you know, controls intervals and maybe changes in some registers and, and mm. somewhat the construction of space, then there was just my sitting with it and editing it that I think also became um, equally as important. Right. And that wasn't related at all to the conservatory. That was just, okay, I get what, it's about 35 minutes, 38 minutes or something. And how do you make something that you would want to listen to for that long? Part of the problem I realized with the original piano piece was that it was, you know, it, it works as a consistent texture, but it, I, God knows I wouldn't want to listen to the whole thing. I think I wrote 12 or 14 variations, and, you know, I would not want to listen to them all at once. Right. Uh, and so to make to make a structure that I would want to listen to and go through enough changes was uh, just using instinct and, and improvised editing. I yeah. did a lot with inserting silences and sitting with the generated file that was distorted and then you know, to cutting it up. Um, if it got boring, maybe change the EQ.